Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hamago-san? What's all this? Didn't I tell you? I'm decluttering. <laughs> I lugged all this out here by myself. Oh, I'm beat. I was hoping you big, strong men might do the rest. You buying new futons or something? Business must be good. Wait, there's no one here. Where are the girls? They all quit. What? I'm closing up shop. Huh? <laughs> Eugene Show Revitalization Shelter. It's a facility in Hamakita Park. Bleach Japan set it up. Girls from the industry and their families can live there free of charge. For free? Damn. And all your girls went there? Sure did. Why wouldn't they? The facility's offering job training and legal help with visas. No better place for girls like them who don't have citizenship. And Bleach Japan is behind this whole operation? Yeah, they're being useful for once. They're gonna open more just like it, too. And they even offered to buy my place and turn it into a shelter. But then what are you going to do? This place is your bread and butter, isn't it? Oh, they thought of that. They gave me a job at the shelter. I'm gonna be the dorm mother. Oh, it's good pay, and perfect for a feisty old gal like me. Gotta say, I'm coming around on these do-gooders. Come on, Hamako-san. Don't you remember what they put you through? Yeah, sure, they were annoying. Bunch of kids tramping around, shouting shit they heard in prep school. But hey, now they're putting their money where their mouth is. It wasn't just a bunch of whining. They actually did something about it. And apparently the shelters were Ryo Aoki's idea. I have to say, it's pretty damn genius of him. Not to be a downer, but don't you think he's basically just buying votes? Once the election is over, I bet you he's gonna forget all about these shelters. Yeah, seriously. Politicians pull this shit all the time. You don't know him. You can't just assume he's like that. Besides, you got some better option for my girls? Any spare rooms you'll let them live in? I'll have you know, Aoki-san came all the way out to a gene chart today. Wait, he's in town? He's attending Ogasawara-san's funeral. See? That shows he's a good guy. The guy who's got a million things on his plate, but still carves out time for a friend. You've got no business bad-mouthing him when you don't even know him. Here, in the Gene Show. You gonna go see him? Yeah. There's stuff I want to ask him about. Uh, me too. Like what his connection to Horonouchi is. You guys are nuts. Well, what's your plan? Stroll up and demand a meeting with the most powerful man in Tokyo? Oh, funerals are easy to sneak into. Everyone's too polite to ask questions. Why are you supporting this lunacy? Sorry, Hamako-san. But do you mind if I get rid of your trash some other day? What's wrong with now? <laughs> There's just this thing I gotta take care of. Fine. Just don't leave me hanging, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. So does anyone know where this funeral is? If it's any Jincho, it's gotta be at the morgue on Central. That's where Nonomiya's funeral was. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's roll on over there.
Kun, I remember the day we met like it was yesterday. Nice. There's still time. Hey, let us through. We're here to pay our respects. Hey, are you with Bleach Japan? No, but we knew Ogasawara. Not good enough. The ceremony's just for family and Bleach Japan members. Well, maybe they'll let us light some incense. <laughs> They aren't even allowing journalists like me in. This monitor is all we get. Today, we celebrate Ogasawara-kun's memory. We do so here in Ijincho, the city of his heart and soul. You, more than anyone, yearn to see this city reborn. It was only six months ago that you came here with your family. And I remember how eager you were to change this town for the better. It became your passion in life. But one cannot truly care about a city until they become one of its people, which is why I was so moved when you chose to reside in Ijincho. There is no greater tragedy than the dreams we leave behind in death, and yours were bigger than most ever dared. I know this as your classmate in our youth, as your peer who shared your ambitions but most of all, simply as a friend, you left too soon. This is truly, truly a great loss. And so, what choice do we have but to face the future without you? We look to Kumekun, the protege to whom you entrusted so much. He has stepped forward to carry on your dream. And is there any greater honor than when, in our passing, someone else picks up the torch where we left it? You and I always believed we could help people find their way together. Which is why, in the coming election, I will throw the entirety of my support behind Kume. I say this not as the Citizens' Liberal Party Chair, but for you, Ogasawara-kun, as your friend who would see your dream come true, I swear to do everything in my power to bring your dream, Frijincho, to fruition. That is the least I can do for you, my old friend. Rest now and smile down on us from heaven. <sighs> Son, <laughs> we will continue your work for you. Just listen to this governor. He really cares. He's in more grief than anyone here, and he still gave a speech. Strong man given a strong eulogy. If Aoki really did order Ogasawara's death, well, then he's quite the actor. Bastard's grooming Kume for political office. What the hell is his plan? Hey, there he is. Let's move. How many seats is the Citizens' Liberal Party targeting this cycle? Any comment? Aoki-san, should we take your statement today as a campaign launch announcement? Any comment at all? Just a soundbite, Aoki-san. Clear the way. What's your motive for holding a new election? Hey, don't push. I said don't push. All right, folks, let him through. Let him through. Aoki. Hey, 
Governor Aoki! Ah, that's no good. Can't even get close. Let's head him off. How? It's not like the governor took a train here. He's gotta have a car nearby. Sure, but how are you gonna find it? Check every parking spot in the neighborhood? You know, I once read in some tabloid that celebrities park underground to avoid the paparazzi. Aoki probably uses the same strategy, don't you think? Yeah, that's a thought. Any underground lots around here? Yeah, there's a big one. Its entrance is by the river. Great! Let's check it out! Hmm? Yo! Yep. Yeah. Okay. Copy that. We'll be ready to move out right away. Start the car. The governor's en route. Bingo. You were right on the money, Sachan. Do this. Stop! 
Identify yourselves. What are you doing here? Chill out, fellas. Just want to talk to the governor. Not a chance. Get back. Code Red, we got trespassers. Mr. Governor, this way. Trespassers? Don't make assumptions, pal. Then who are you? Are you media? We're fans of the governor. We just want to shake his hand, okay? Not right now. Please? Come on. You can't. We'll just take a second. The governor ain't got time. Take a walk, Jack. Take a walk, Jack? <laughs> you from Kansai? You got a problem with that? Well, it means you're Omi. I don't hear you denying it. Wow, a governor employing Yakuza as his bodyguards. Unreal. Shut up! I'm a civilian working security. Speaking Kansai don't automatically make someone owe me, you damn smartass. Oh, you're angry I assume something? You assumed we were trespassers. Because that's what you are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just calm down now. Why don't you do yourself a favor and step aside? If not, we'll have to... Freeze! Whoa, easy. That's quite the weapon you got there. I was only gonna ask for a light, man. <laughs> Why's a local security guard packing something like that, anyway? <sighs> Asshole! I'm about to shoot you just because you're annoyed! Did the safety on? Huh? <clears throat> gotcha, fucking rookie. <laughs> you think I'm playing, you dried up sack? They wanna fight? Let's give them a bloodbath! You do want to be too scared? Watch me. Let's go, Are you done with all the fight? You're in for it now. Let's get nutty! What have you done? Uh, Mr. Governor... Can't you tell the difference between thugs and law-abiding citizens? What's wrong with you? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We are terribly sorry about this. Do you need medical attention? I never thought I'd see the day when my own guards hurt a citizen. I'm just glad I saw the scuffle in the rearview mirror. Please, let me help you up. Sir. It's such a relief that none of you were hurt. Please accept my sincere apologies for all of this. 
I'd also like to apologize on behalf of my guards. I'll be giving them a strict lecture later. But for now, I must ask that you excuse me. I'm late for an appointment. Listen. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Hold on. Uh. Yo. Okay.